All right, y'all, look at this. <clears throat> you got a new mic. Ah, E, A, you know what I'm saying? I still have the bed. Yeah. Ah, got to keep the water on you. All right, look. New mic, baby. New mic. Listening to the vibe. Ooh. Whoa. Can I play right there? Yup. I ain't gonna do that, though. Hold on. I didn't show y'all the new studio. Well, not the new studio. The new look. So, let's take a quick. You know, we got stuff on the walls to make sure it sounds good. This is summertime and you know we live. Mic upside down. That's the old mic. Same mic I'm going to use. I love that mic. It's warm. It's clear. Uh, what you call it? It's warm. It's clear. And it's good for instrumentation and things like that. You know. I can't forget what this. I'm going to do a video, a live or whatever, about how I did this, too. Um, I put everything up. You know we got the equipment. Y'all seen this before? Got the drum machine. Yeah. There we go. Then we got my beautiful speakers on Hummer. I love so much. You gotta draw the cross on top. I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Got the MPK. You know what I'm saying? Got the. Got the you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what is that? Soundboard. Another speaker. That's the bottle I just sat up there. Got my guitars over there in the corner. Uh, this is my desk. This is where the magic happened. This is the all time greatest listener in the world. Um, don't say nothing back. All she do is listen. And she remember everything you say. And she sent it to her to get it done. Um, but we here for this today. Uh, we are here for this. Yes, we are. And this is my new baby. I'm about to cut my hair too. I don't know. What y'all think? Should I? Ooh. Hey, be careful. Uh, so I start posting videos. Oh wait, y'all can't see. Well, let me let me hold on. <laughs> okay. Hold on. I just been doing things in me. I got the roots. All right. I just want to say 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 I just want to We got a shock mount. This joint is sturdy, bro. This sturdy. All right. This is a new, is a new shock mount. And it, it is sturdy. I want to know if my old mic can fit in. Because if so, that would be very, very good. Um, but it's made specifically for this. You got a felt carrying rag. Very big. Oh, this is not a carry rag. This is a cover rag. Keep dust off the mic. So then, we, you know what I'm saying? You just set it over the mic. And then, you know what I'm saying? Attach it at the bottom. That's all that's in this box. And we have a thread adapter. There we go. Well, I ain't gonna open it for you. You can see it. Oh. Y'all got that. And then... We got the baby, so uh, it's another white box. And a net. Uh, and a net. Just aesthetic stuff. And then we got the manual. All you gotta do is plug it up and make it work. All right, <clears throat> now for the time. Here we go. Bing, 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 bing. Oh. Audio Technica.
My Brody Brody put me on this. He got the audit the AT2020. So this is the AT4040. Uh, just a small, same thing. You know what I'm saying? I rock with audio technique. Um, everybody got these here. Now it looks big. It looked big. I love how you can see the um, receiver on the inside right there. Looks big, but now it may be big for some individuals. Like, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my other mic and compare the size for you. Cause I'm riding this shit. Six, four, C, ten, and it's gliding through the city. No cap, it's only God when you see how I be living. I can't sell my soul. Can't do it. Can't do it to you. All right. So, this is my current mic. Samson CO1. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Very resembling of the Rode NT1. Um, and this is big. I'm 6'5". Big hands. Um, something that you will be able to see is this is my phone, right? Work phone. This is my hand. This phone. This is a six inch phone. Big phone. Plus phone. So you see the size of my hands, right? This is, or a big tail cup, or a candle. Here we go. A candle. Candle's pretty big. Next to my hand. Good size comparison. This is the mic. It's tiny. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's very tiny. But it's very, 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 very crispy. I have not heard it for myself, you know, just watching other reviews. I will make another review and then, um, Hook it up to the computer so y'all can actually hear hear what I'm hear and all these different things. But um, yes, the mic very sleek, black silver. You know what I'm saying? On the back, let me I'll set it up. So on the back, let's see if we can get the focus. AT4040 cardioid capacitor microphone, Audio Technica made in Japan. Konnichiwa. All right, so we got a low cut. Well, I do not plan on using this. I don't plan on using either of these switches because in life, you keep flicking the switch and stuff, something gonna break, right? And I just paid a lot of money for this. So we're not, we not doing that. I don't plan on using the switches. Um, now, if they had the... The different polar pattern switch, I would like that. I want the 2050 next. Um, I probably won't. I probably won't stick with Audio Technica because this is probably the biggest that I want to get with Audio Technica. I'm gonna move on to Warm Audio and get the um, the Warm Audio uh, 251, and it's got several different polar patterns, so you can do front or or back and all around. And so that'll help me when recording groups and. Uh, things like that, or I have I sing with a quartet group, um, and we can all stand around the mic. If I do the um, multi-directional polar pattern, we can all just sing, and then it'll pick us all up. And then I can go in and we can do um, a cardioid with you know the front facing polar pattern, and then do each one, and then do it all together and give it a, a really nice tight blend. Um, but yes, so this it has another switch on the back, which is a pad. And it says pad, and it is negative 10 dB or 0 dB. I will not be using that either because I have a low cut on the mixing board. And then this is mainly for at home studios, which is, is at home studio, but most at home studios do not have um, mixing boards. And so we, we can go over that very, 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 very briefly. Um, So right here, up here, 
I have a button that says low cut. Um, oh, oh yeah, we can do this. I have a button that says low cut. Right? And so on all of these channels, I can engage the low cut. More importantly, I have a graphic EQ on my Omnitone Phantom. Oh, no, that's just regular graphic. I have a EQ on, um, on it. So if I want a low cut, which I usually do use a low cut because I did not have the switch capability on this mic. Um, since I did not have the switch capability on this mic, I used this and I created my own, uh, my own EQ curve. And that's usually very similar to what my EQ curve looks like uh, on my inside my 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 dog my DAW, and to be to make it easier for you all to understand, we can open up one. Uh huh. And it's it's definitely more intricate than this. This is just a, a general idea that I like to record under because I know. I have a very nasally tone at times, and so I turn down the nasal and, and nasally areas. Um, I like for it to feel open because this, like I said, is very warm. This will probably change in regards to my AT mic uh, because it's very, very, very open and it's very um, bright is what I've been reviewing. I hope it's not that bright. I just hope it's very clear. Um, and, and nice, very sculpted vocals, but this is warm. Um, it still sounds good. Every song that I've ever created was on this mic, so it sounds great, you know. Um, it's really all about the EQing. Skip, oh, I don't know why that keeps popping up. But this right here, let's go to my vocal right here. And then we're gonna... So, very, very, very... You know, I didn't have the highs boosted on that right there. But as we go to the other channels that I have. Oh, wow, these channels don't have nothing on. Hold on. Let's see what we got right here. Okay, boom. So it's very, it's a little more detailed, but it's very, very similar um, in regards to the shape of the EQ curve right here. And so I, I try to I try to record basically with the same thing. I always got to have the cutoff because even though I have the cutoff engaged, I guess I don't need it, right? So that'll add some warmth to my vocal. So I'll adjust that later. But um my voice I like my voice to sound full and warm. So I keep keep these. I don't like the nasal. So I, I drop these down a little bit. But I like it to feel open at the top. So I boost the highs, you know, in the same way I do right here. I boost the highs slightly to open it up. Uh, I drop it around 2K because this is every vocal that I have, this is a problem area. Uh, let's, and we, we'll go right here and see. See just how problematic it is. That gives me don't know how to feel inside. I like for it to sound warm. And I like hold on, let me turn it up a little bit so I can hear how better, man. Don't wanna lose my mind. Don't wanna lose my mind. That this just the way that I just the way that I uh the way that I sing, I, I feel is nasally. Um, so I, I do that with the EQ, um, whatever. So like I, I like I originally said, I don't need the switches. I do like them just in case I take this and I record with someone who ha does not have a, a mixing board, which is 
99% of the time the case. Um, I will have the availability to, let's say we're, we're yelling or we're in a loud atmosphere or I'm recording overhead for some drums and I'm recording stereo. Even though it might sound different because I got two different sources, if I would over record stereo over the drum set, um, you know what I'm saying? And it's loud, this doesn't have a pad, but this can reduce the signal that is being um, received. Um, yeah, just by putting the pad on, because you're doing really loud noises or whatever. Um, so yeah, overall, I like it. Build quality in comparison. This one's all metal too. Very solid. Now I will say, when I unscrew this to put it on the thing, listen. And y'all might think this is just this jig rolling around. But it's the whole housing. You know? And I think that's just a part of you being able to take it apart or whatever the case may be. I don't know. I don't like to take it off because I might not be able to put it back together. But once you screw it in, make sure everything is secured tightly. It's very, very good. So I can hold it. Baby, oh, yeah, ah, ah, ah. You know, nothing. Yeah. And so then this, I love the way you can see that bad boy in there. Shiny. Shiny, 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 shiny. I'm excited. Um, I got some new things also coming in the mail. Um, this doesn't have any lights. This is what I say. This got a light to tell you that it's on. This ain't got no lights. And it's tiny. It's tiny. And it's on. It's on. Ooh. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, Shari. And so, mm -hmm. and so, this, I, I, this is the close proximity. Effect. You're not going to be here, but I can hear it through the speakers. Um, I just like it. It smells good. I like it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm in a, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I like it. I like it. It's sleek looking. Futuristic looking. Right? So now it's time for the price. Like you can find this online for $80 to $100. But I think he got the whole package. I like him. But yeah, then you can find this online for like $80, close to $100. My dad said he found it for $200 at the music store. But I think he bought this with some other stuff as well. It also comes with a pretty nice carrying case. It's plastic. You know what I'm saying? Studio condenser microphone. And it's crazy when I started using this, I didn't know what this was. I didn't know what it meant. I said microphone, studio microphone. It's This whole journey is a blessing. I'm gonna do a video about that too. But this right here, the case is totally different. Now I wanna warm audio. Then I'm gonna upgrade to universal audio. Then I'm upgrade to Neumann. My lies. I might get a Sony. I have no Really, no desire to get a Sony um, because they cost so much. A thousand dollars for a little, you know, what I'm saying, a little mic. Um, nah, but um, it's been 20 minutes, and so I'm gonna end this off at 20 minutes, and then I'll make another video about my dream mics and different things like that. Not that anybody's gonna watch it yet. Um, somebody watch it, you know, soon because we going up soon. Lord willing, if God allows it, it's gonna happen. Um, so. Yeah, Julio out. Also, name change. I'm changing my name to Light. And I'm telling everybody on here, because I don't have no views on here just yet. But I get more views on Instagram and stuff, so it's more like a surprise on Instagram and you know all these other social medias. But um, I'm here. I'm Light, L-I-I-G-H-T. Julio out. Light on the way. All right, y'all.